Hey everyone, this is Christine Thompson with Baird & Warner right here in Naperville and the lead agent on the CT team. Thanks for joining me. This is my monthly show for updates on what's happening in the market. And I use Naperville as the guinea pig, I'll say, for stats. So I'm gonna skip right to it and I'm gonna share the screen so you can see all the one fabulous information that I'm gonna share with you this week. All right, so I just wanna leave this screen up for just a second so that way you can have all my contact information so you know how to reach out to me if you have questions that come up in your mind during the show and I can't, uh, it's, it's kind of hard for me to watch all the reactions on Facebook uh, live while I'm doing the show. So I'll review any kind of questions or information or requests that come in after the show and I'll get, to get answers to you. But you know how to reach out to me after the show and if you have to step away and you miss part of the show or whatever happens, I will have it on my YouTube channel, Living in Naperville. Uh, let's see, Naperville Living in Naperville with Christine Thompson. I, I just changed the name recently, so I have to stop and think about that. But yeah, I have a YouTube channel, Living in Naperville. Naperville Living in Naperville with Christine Thompson. You can find all of my shows in that YouTube channel. I highly encourage you to check it all out. I got a lot of stuff in there, a lot of information. That's what I'm all about. And please direct your friends to my YouTube channel as well if they want to get information about real estate, anything real estate related. And I'm excited to start putting in information up there about Naperville since I am a uh, since 1990, resident of Naperville. I really know it, love it. And of course, um, I love sharing anything about it. You can give me a call if you're really interested in Naperville, give me a call. And I know the surrounding areas too. So if you have, need information about the surrounding Western suburbs, you know, radiating out from Naperville, absolutely, I can help you with that too. I've been here probably too long. So, well, could never be too long. It's a great area to live. All right, so here we go. Uh, you got all my information. Let's get started here. And why are we not moving here? Okay, sorry. It's not a good technical day for me. I was supposed to start a little while ago. I don't know why this is not moving. So let me escape from that and just try it again. And see, maybe I'm at the end of the show. Let me try it let me escape that one more time. Sorry, you guys. I'm obviously not having a good tech day. Yeah, that's why, because I'm at the end of the screen. Oh, okay, and there you go. Okay, same information. Let's move on. So this is just a, a big, big picture summary of what's happening in Naperville. We, uh, I broke it down to what's happened in the last 30 days. Uh, we can see there are are thir about 31% new homes on the market. I always like to look at the new homes and under contract. So 30% under market, 20% under contract. So what that means is more homes coming on the market than going under contract. I do like to also remind you that there are private listings. Now, are all the private listings allowing showings? Probably not, maybe half of them. And if this is approximately 14%, that's about 7%, to add that to the new homes, that's about 38%. Uh, so we definitely see more inventory available than what's going under contract. And pay attention to this one. I wanna start paying attention to the price change to see if that number starts kicking up uh, month over month. Uh, we were not seeing price changes before because it was such a crazy seller market, but now there are sellers experiencing price changes. They are not getting the number that they thought they could. So that's an indication that buyers are not as uh, urgent in their offers, okay? That was a month ago. Now we see, look at that, price change 3.3, okay? What I just showed you before was a month ago. That was August. Now this is closing out September and we see 34% new on the market. That's up 12% around the same. It was 14 before. So we have probably, if you took half of that, let's say six, we have about 40% inventory of new properties coming in the market and only 26% going under contract. So we are seeing a divide. We're not seeing one coming on the market, one going on, on under contract like we saw earlier this year. So this is a definite sign that the seller market is softening, okay? Uh, then let's just look at the average sale prices. 
I love showing these charts because it's showing you, you know, from all the way from 2018, what's happened. And I just highlighted last month what the average was for detached homes in Naperville. And that average was 560, 555. And we can see from the beginning of 2021, the numbers kept climbing on the home values. So that's fantastic. This month, let's see here. Okay, well, okay, I don't have the next month, but uh, I apologize for that. Shame on me. I will have it next month for you. I don't have time to pull it up right now. All right, average market time in August was 47 days. And I don't know what's going on here. Sorry, you guys. I know I put it all in last night. So I don't know why these numbers are, these graphs are not showing up. Again, technical bad day for me. Average showings 26. Let's see if the next chart shows. It does not. Oh my gosh. I might redo this show. Um, average number of showings. I did update this one. It's showing. Uh, we can see for the last month here, uh, the last five weekends. Well, let's look at the last four weekends here, okay? And we see that uh, in September, we hovered around two. But in August, we had numbers hovering over three and definitely at two. Here we're a little more, we had one over two, but the rest at or below two. So the average number of showings, I would say, is probably uh, was a little bit stronger in August, not too much more in September though. This is a great one and I hope to God my needle is showing up for the next month. I know I put it in there. Uh, but on September 4th, I reported that the action index needle was 52, strong seller's market. This month, I know I put it in there. It was like at 44. I'm just gonna tell you verbally. 44 is the number I'm seeing for October. I just don't know what the technical issue is, why these, these numbers are not showing up. So here, let's see, maybe I can pull it up here. Yeah, 44, there it is, you guys. I'll just pull it up from the website. So the action index needle is only 44 this month compared to last month, which was at, uh, let's see here, 50, 52. So it went down eight points on the action index needle, crazy. Another indicator that the seller market is softening. And then uh, interest rates, September 4th, uh, the FH or conventional APR was 3.26 and FHA was 3.71 and slightly up for FHA and uh, conventional APR. 3.4, so it, yeah, it went up a little bit more. And industry experts from multiple sources are all in agreement that the interest rates are expected to go up finally in 2022. The Freds are gonna stop doing things with treasury bonds and all that crazy stuff that I, I'm not gonna pretend I understand it all. I'm not a huge economics person, but they are gonna stop buying, purchasing, or selling certain treasury bonds, this and that. And that's gonna affect the rates, they're gonna to have to go up. Okay, so do plan on higher rates in 2022. Do plan on home prices will, uh, I'm not gonna say they're gonna have the crazy climb like we had year over year from 2020 to 2021, but they are not dropping. Okay, so for all of you out there thinking, well, I'm gonna wait, you know, I want the frenzy to die and home prices are gonna go down because it seemed like it was a bubble. It was not a bubble. Loans were not being given away. The home prices only went up because inventory was really low, okay? That is not a bubble. So home prices will not drop. They may not go up so quickly, Maybe they'll go flat at worst, but they are not going down and interest rates are going up. So if you wait until 2022, you are either buying a smaller home to stay in the same budget, or you're gonna to have to increase your monthly budget. One of the two, plan on it. Okay, uh, just saw kind of some food for thought about, you know, if you're a buyer, this really is, a sweet spot for you as a buyer. And sellers pay attention. This is why we're starting to see price drops, okay? Don't be one of those sellers. 
because this is becoming a nicer time for buyers to be purchasing. You know, the mortgage rates are still low. Um, there are home prices that are getting adjusted to get sold. So that's great for buyers. That means you may not be dealing with a multiple offer unless that price gets adjusted so well that it will draw in multiple offers. I am seeing that when the home seller finally puts their sale price where it really should be and the buyers come out and they make the multiple offers. So uh, get out there while, you know, it's been sitting, you know, as a buyer, get out there. And if you see a home that's sat there for 14 plus days, means other buyers are not agreeing, make an offer, make an offer. You might be able to negotiate something with that seller. Uh, increased housing supply. I showed that to you earlier. We're seeing that there are more homes coming on the market than what are going under contract. So I love the stat. Na this is national, of course. 17.6% more homes are available now. More options for buyers. And I am seeing that there are fewer bidding wars. There are definitely fewer bidding wars. And if there are multiple offers, not as many coming in and not as crazy high as they used to be. So I'm going to sign out here. Here's all my contact information again. You guys, I all really appreciate you watching this show. And more so, I appreciate you uh, telling everyone about it so that way they can get a feel for what the heck is going on out there on the market. You know, it's a little bit of a roller coaster ride. It was real crazy earlier in this year, but it's starting to get a little calmer. And I think it's good to stay in tune with what's happening in the market. And this is why I do this show. I'll be doing it monthly, the first Tuesday of every month. You can plan on that. Typically, I uh, schedule it around 12, 15. Sometimes it might run a little bit later. And if you do miss the show, you can always go to my YouTube channel, Naperville Living in Naperville with Christine Thompson. And you can check it out there. And I would uh, be happy to take any kind of uh, DMs from you on social media. You can email me. You can even call or text me directly. You've got my number right there on the screen. So I'm going to thank all of you for joining my show. And I hope you're all having a great day and enjoying the beginning of a wonderful fall season. Take care.